Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Supreme Commander Forged Alliance. My name, of course, is Obda Potato. I am joined by Brink of Insanity, the hey pro, guys. the pro in the room that is gonna try and amend all of my mistakes, um, or try to compensate for them, should I say? <laughs> as long as, as long as you don't just bank on me for a total win, because I will need some help. Oh man, yeah. All right. I'm, I'm building. I'm building as fast as I can, although, as you can see, I'm already 16 points behind everybody else because I was struggling to find the position of where I was going to put my land factory. But it's all good I, now. I found it. I would recommend building some power early because your hydro is a very long ways away, and that's all I'm going to tell you about the beginning okay. build. I'll just see how, you, see how we do. You'll you'll see how I do. I like that. You know, you're, you're being nice and responsible, and you're sort of... Uh, you're letting you're letting me go. Nobody nobody likes someone leaning over their shoulder. I mean, it's like <laughs> you're you're doing your thing, you're doing your work, and there's this person just breathing down your neck, telling you everything that you're doing wrong in the world. Oh, it's okay. I've already made numerous mistakes. Like, I've already <laughs> yeah, I've already messed up sufficiently to call this probably a game that we're not going to win because of my incompetence. No, uh, no. we'll just see what happens. All right, there we go. All right, you now I want you to go around here, building me some more stuff. Great. Okay, so I was going to tell you, you know, we were discussing in the in the, in Skype a little bit earlier, and I said I had some important news to tell you. All right. Oh, what's that? Okay. Do you okay? Are you ready for this important news? I am ready for this important information. All right. Basically, I actually won a game in Supreme Commander Forge Alliance in ladder oh man yeah that's right so has the bug bit you are you ready to go full-on ladder at this point I, i'm pretty bitten right but I, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna get my hopes up because the the guy was actually he had 13 points okay so he was pretty bad at the game i'm not gonna lie he was uh he was pretty bad i feel a little bit ashamed about beating him he was still tough but you know i'm uh i'm pretty happy and uh, i'm definitely gonna be playing more that is for darn sure for darn good to hear yeah. I don't really play much ladder myself, but I do hear that it is underpopulated pretty badly. So uh -huh. I know that everybody that plays ladder will be eager to have someone to beat someone to play against. <laughs> <laughs> that is both harsh and very true. All right. Uh, you know why I don't play ladder? Because I get ground into a paste every game. <laughs> that that's a good point. I mean, you've you've already you've already got the you know. The, the ability to say, hey, I've played it for long enough, I'm, I'm cool enough that people actually know who I am, uh, you know, you can just sort of chill and relax and whatnot, and it's all good. Yeah. At this point, I think I've played, in three years, I've probably played 30 ladder games total. I've uh -huh. played it just enough to know that I don't like it. <laughs> so. <laughs> that's, that's good. How did I alt-right-click? Alt-right-click is attack move. All right. Alt right click. I don't see no red line. Alt right click. It's definitely going somewhere. Oh well. Hey. Oh, this dastardly person is trying to slip by me here. You sir are not going to get away with that. Oh good. Good. Save my like, engineer's life there. We don't like uh, like like letting these these guys off with with anything really. Nope. All right. All right. So, at the moment, these guys are doing nothing. They shouldn't be doing nothing. They should be doing something. Go get yes. the hydro. Go do something. I would be pushing your ACU kind of out towards the front because eventually you're going to see tanks there. All right. A, a good rule route. of thumb with an overcharge and a good little bit of micro, your ACU is roughly equivalent to 20 T1 tanks combat-wise. Okay. So that is a pretty big force early in the game. Yeah, and the earlier it is in the game, the more your ACU can swing the battle in your favor. Oh, you absolute scum face. Oh my god. Okay, he's got units up in the... It's got units up there. Does that mean something to you? Oh man. 
now I've just got these engineers that are just sitting around doing nothing. It's like the worst feeling in the world. Oh man, engineers that are doing nothing because I just have, you know, not the competency to actually tell them to do something. There you go. Well, you caught the tanks and you didn't really lose anything, so I think you're going to be fine. Yeah. Just a little bit annoying. Yeah. All right, there we go. You guys it can be there. that. All right, my economy is way too full on resources. It's just not acceptable. All right. I've got two engineers. Okay, and then you do that, that. And then that, that. All right. Great. Everybody's busy doing something. I like I like to see this. No freeloaders. No freeloaders at all. I mean, I am all about getting everybody involved in work. How is how is the pro player doing? How are you doing? I'm doing fine. All right. Got that's... plenty of units by my side. I could use some power. If you could give me some power, that would be very very helpful. How do I give you power? You Gift um, press diplomacy. the handshake at the top, and then you press resources under my name and then you can slide the little bar for how much you want to give I'm giving you 20 percent i think that would be very very helpful I'll up it to 41 percent how about that fantastic I've... that actually filled 15 percent of my gun upgrade right there well that's beautiful i am also going to try and get the gun upgrade yep you got I plenty also... of power on hand exactly that's what i'm thinking Doubles the ACU's weapon damage and increases the range that overcharges it. That's the one yes, that we want. Yes, exactly. Sweet. So, I uh, I was watching a you game. You will need a little anti-air. Sorry to interrupt I, you. I just saw an air scout go over. So No no problem. I've got an anti-air at my base, although. Uh, all right, let me just get an anti-air here. And then I'll get some tech one point defense in a minute. All right. Up here. And I really should template that, actually. I should really template a... Point defense surrounded point by walls? Yeah, pretty much. Yes. You definitely need to. Yeah, I think it's probably a pretty good shout. All right, you're going to need a few tanks, because you got some tanks coming in on the north. That's okay. My commander is uh, undergoing his gun upgrade at the moment, although it shouldn't be a major problem. All right. Artillery should be firing. Tank should get taken out. Got more artillery to reinforce. Beautiful. All right, that was actually not detrimental, which is the first step in the right direction, I feel. All right, so Alt, right click, right click. There we go. Perfect. All right. Commander, Commander, has he done his gun upgrade? Did that um, just happen? I did it. Oh my goodness, I did a gun upgrade. Nice. Oh man, dude, I'm so hyped about this. I think I've successfully killed my guy. You successfully killed your guy. Good. I like this good news. <laughs> this is going to be a quick game. Sorry. I no, uh, please, by all means. I I love it that you're uh, you're actually doing all the work. This is this is beautiful. This is exactly what I needed. Boom. That's one dude. And we've just got one more dude to go. I shall move my uh Oh, I lucked out. His ACU explosion killed the engineer that was building the wall sections there. So the um <laughs> The walls weren't finished, and I was able to kill it uh, without having to overcharge it to death. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, yeah, of course. I completely forgot about overcharge. That's a thing that you can do. Yeah, if you overcharge it, even though the shot hits the front wall, uh -huh. since it has area of effect on the overcharge, it still damages the point defense. Yeah. Oh, man. All right. Well, I feel sorry for Atham now. Yeah, me too. I mean... Wow. Yeah. I am I am legitimately impressed. You're Your build impressed. You are eight minutes in and you've got roughly quadruple the units you had last time I played with you at this point. Wow. I, I And you have the gun that. upgrade. And I have the gun upgrade. 
but my ACU is a little bit out of position. However, he's moving forward, and that's the important thing to note, isn't it? Yes. Ah, I may need some help he, from your artillery up here. Has he got a proxy base up there or something? It has a proxy base, and there is a point defense, which is killing all of my tanks as they're passing through. I'm going to kill it, but I'm losing it, a lot. Is it even worth killing it? Well, anytime you can kill Eco, it's worth it. I, I don't think he's got much of a chance, though. I'll be honest with you. I don't think the poor guy's got much of a chance. No, he really doesn't. Yeah, it's a real shame. Even even a new player like me knows knows that he's uh, he's not got much hope. Well, you've got the land rush down. I think with a little bit better placement of your units, I I don't think you technically qualify as a total noob anymore. What? What <laughs> is this? Is this madness? You say? Oh my goodness. Uh. Just be prepared, though. Every time your rank rises up, you play with better people, so... Oh, I don't want that to happen. <laughs> Alright, so I've just put everybody on a, an attack order, and I feel like a total legend. So my artillery is pretty decent. Yep, and this is what I was telling you about. Last time we played together, you remember I said the aggressive stance typically beats a turtle? Uh-huh. This guy is turtling. He had four maybe five tier two mass extractors. Uh -huh. So he has this huge eco, but he can't do anything with it because he has no build power and no map presence. Yeah. So wow. he has tons and tons of mass and can't spend it. Whereas you and I spent our mass with no mass extractor upgrades and we've each got, you know, 50 T1 units to show for it. Yeah, that was great. That was great, man. I feel invigorated and excited. Yeah, that was a nice, concise little game. That was well executed. I was overcharging his little ass. It was beautiful. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Don't you feel like a total badass when you just yeah. unleash the plasma cannon? <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, it was great. It was great. Also, well, in I that... Think... Sorry, no, go ahead. No, you go for it. Well, I was going to say my unit composition in that game was terrible. I mean, like, only artillery is a terrible way to go, I think. Yeah. Although, it's better than nothing, I guess. Well, here's the thing. If your opponent has no tanks, artillery wins every time. Because mm -hmm. it has the highest damage potential against buildings. Yeah. So if all he has is buildings, then you can use your gun commander to guard your artillery from the couple of units that he does have. And just steamroll him with artillery, which is basically what you did. Yeah. Now, the more tanks you see, the more of your own tanks you have to build. Yeah. But... If you have an unupgraded commander, you're going to need more tanks. If you have the gun comm to front for your army, remember you're taking the place of probably 30, 35 tanks with your ACU after you have the gun upgrade. Mm -hmm. So you can build that many less tanks and that many more artillery or accompanying anti-air and protect yourself better and give yourself more damage potential. Mm -hmm. Wow. Absolutely fantastic. I love that game. Thank you very, very much for introducing me to this wonderful world of Supreme Commander Forged Alliance, FAF, forever. All you are answers. more than welcome. Like I said, we're always eager for new players, so <laughs> dive on in there. You've experienced it for yourself. We actually have a fairly friendly community around here, so you can find I, the help if you need it. I just want to say to everybody that has commented on these videos and has offered me help, I completely appreciate it. It's very rare that a community is this welcoming to new players i mean we were discussing this earlier it's very very nice it's very friendly and i'm totally grateful for it well, we're glad to have you man <laughs> oh, well thank you very much for joining us once again brink um i'm sure we'll have you on again very very soon indeed uh, but for now my name of course has been over potato his name has been brink of insanity check it out check all the channel links in the description below check out the video link go watch his video it's gonna be great and we'll see you next time bye see y'all